How to create a website for a grocery store for free. Hello everyone, I'm Jason and in this tutorial I'll be showing you step by step how to create a website for a grocery store with Wix. The reason why I recommend using Wix.com is because you can get started for completely free and you don't even need a credit card to sign up. All you'll need is your email, so you'll simply go onto Wix.com, then you are going to sign up using your email address. After you have signed up, you'll be led to a dashboard just like this, and all you'll need to do is tap on create a new site. Once you have tapped on create a new site, you will be led to this page which is their website builder. So all you'll need to do now, right where you see the search bar, you are going to type in grocery right there. Then you'll see the option grocery store. You can see online grocery store, Indian grocery store. And if you scroll down, you can see a variety of different type of grocery stores that you can create. All I'll tap on for this example is grocery store. Then next. Once you have tapped on next, you'll be led to this page on which you can add the name of your grocery store. So let's say I want to name my grocery store fresh. Then I'll tap on next again. After you have tapped on next, you'll be redirected to this page. And these are the apps that are currently on, or better yet, the apps that will be added to your website. So you can see the various apps right here. You'll have the online store. You'll also have live chat on which you'll be able to interact with customers or potential customers if they have any discrepancies or so on. You will also be able to share your Instagram feed as you can see right there. And if you'd like to write blogs, you can tap on blog and you can scroll down and you can see the different apps that you can add. So for example, if you would like to add a subscription form or so on, you could tap on forms. Then you can scroll down and you can add any one of these features. Once you are finished, you are going to tap on next at the bottom of the page. After tapping on next, from here I would recommend that you tap on begin with a template. After tapping on begin with a template, you will be redirected to this page on which you will see numerous grocery store templates that you can choose from. All you will need to do is scroll down until you see one that you like and you can see the two that Wix recommends right here. So all we'll have to do, if I tap on view, you'll be able to see how it looks at the moment. So you can see how this theme looks right here by scrolling down. And also, if you would like to see how it would look on your mobile device, all you have to do at the top of the page, you will see two icons. You can see the desktop icon and you can also see the mobile icon. So all you would have to do is tap on the mobile icon and then you'll be able to preview how the theme will look on a mobile device as you can see right here. I think this theme looks very clean. So all we'll do now is simply tap on edit site in the top right hand corner. Then just give it a few seconds as Wix prepare our template. Now that we are on the editor page, there are a few things that I would like you to pay attention to. The first thing is the left hand menu options right here. For example, if you were to tap on the plus that says add elements, you are going to be led to this menu option right here. And from here, you will see text at the top. So for example, if you would like to add paragraph or any form of text to your website, all you'll need to do is tap on the plus, then tap on text, then you can select the text box. If you want to add image to your website, you have to select image and from there you can upload the image. If you would like to add any form of a button, you can also do that as you can see right here. If you would like to add also any form of boxes, for example hover boxes, you can do that using Wix and the add element section. There are numerous options on what you can add to your Wix website by simply tapping on the plus in the top left hand corner. You can add your social media feed or so on. If you want, you can add music and video also to your website. Another thing that you need to pay attention to is the third icon from the top left hand corner. 
and this is where you will see the pages and menu of your website at the moment so at the moment you can see i'm on the home page you can also see the shop all page right here and then you can also see the food pages and you can see the sub pages so for example if i were to tap on food it would change to the food page and you can see the preview in the background right there and you can see the various sub pages below it so you can see vegetables fruits meat and poultry bakery numerous options and beverages and so on you can see the different headings and also the different sub pages as you can see and the thing that i love about wix is with this template all you have to do is simply fill in your information as it already have all of the necessary pages that you would need to create a professional and beautiful grocery store website for example you can see right here on this page which is the food page by simply scrolling down you can see the different items and you can also see that they have created categories on the left hand menu option right there so all you would need to do now is simply add your products and to do that is quite easy all you have to do is tap on the current product section for example this section right here then you'll see the option manage products you are going to tap on that after you have tapped on manage products you will be led to a new dashboard and from this dashboard you'll be able to start adding your own products so for example you can add photos or videos of the products that you plan on selling in your grocery store come with the website but to add your own product all you'll have to do is tap on new product in the top right hand corner then you are going to select physical product after selecting physical product from here you'll be able to add your own product as i was saying earlier you are now able to add photos and videos let me tap on physical product real quick you can add images and also add videos for each product and you can add the product information the name of the product and so on and you can also add a description and everything you can set up the pricing as you can see right here you'll be able to add the price and you can also add any other information you want and with Wix, you can, will also be able to track your inventory as you can see right here. You could toggle on track inventory. And you can also set up pre-orders if you want as you can see right there. And you can add it into different categories by simply scrolling back up. You will see categories in the top right hand corner. You could tap on create new category if you would like to add it to a different category from which is already on your platform or better yet on your website and after you're finished you could tap on inventory over on the left hand corner right here you could tap on inventory and you'll be able to see your current inventory as you continue uploading various products to your website so you can see it right here you'll be able to view your inventory and you can also view numerous other options on the left hand column so you can view them based on category you can also see back in stock requests and if you would like to find products to sell online you can tap on find products to sell online and from there you'll be able to do some drop shipping or so on if you want and you can also use wix to track your orders as you can see right here and also track your abandoned cards and if in the future for example in christmas or any sale you want to create a gift card you can also do that using wix as you can see here there are numerous options you can do but since we are doing an online store more than likely you are going to be accepting payments online and to set up your online payments all you'll have to do is hover over billing and payments then you are going to tap on payments after you have tapped on payments you'll be led to a new page and from here you can set up various payment methods by tapping on manage payment methods so for example if you want to accept payments via paypal you'll be able to do that as you can see right here also you can set up cxp and by scrolling down you can add other options so you can set up manual payment 
you could tap on see more payment options and you'll be able to add other payment options. Once you are finished, you'll simply tap on the X in the top right hand corner and you could go back to editing your website. And again, to edit your website on Wix is quite easy. Any section that you'd like to make a change to, for example, the header section, all you have to do is hover over the particular section. Then you could simply tap on quick edit in the top left hand corner. Once you have tapped on quick edit in the right hand column, you will see different editing options. So for example, if I wanted to change the strip background, I could tap on change. Then from there, I can change the color or if I wanted to add a photo or a video, I could do that as you can see right here. Let's say I want to use this photo instead. All I would have to do is tap on the photo and you can see that it has changed right there. And also if you would like to change the text, you can do that. If you would like to add something else. Also, if you would like to add a slideshow, you can do that. There are numerous editing options when it comes on to Wix and it is quite easy to use. You can edit any page quite easily. So let's go back to our front page. All we'll have to do is go over to the top left hand corner. Then you'll see shop all and you'll simply tap on home. After you have tapped on home, you will be redirected to the home page. And once on the home page again, if you would like to add any sections or do anything, all you have to do is hover over the particular section, then tap on add sections. Or if you would like to change a particular image on the home page, all you have to do is tap on quick edit. And after tapping on quick edit, again, you will see a menu option pop up on the right hand corner. And from there, you'll be able to edit the content. So let's say, for example, I want to change the background right where you see section background. You could change that if you would like to change the title. You can also do that, as you can see right there. And also, if you would like to change the layout, all you have to do is tap on layout in the top right hand corner. Then from there, you could tap on add section and you'll be able to edit the layout. Once you're finished, you can tap on preview in the top right hand corner to preview the changes and see how your website currently looks. So let me tap on preview so that we can see how this website looks at the moment. You can see how it looks right here. So this is my grocery store website. I think it looks beautiful as you can see right there. It looks very beautiful and professional. Now to publish it, all you'll have to do is tap on publish in the top right hand corner and your website will now be live. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.